Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tale. So we're going to start with the eye on the right. We'll start in the middle with a frown line. So from here in the middle, I'm just going to draw a curved line going up. From here, I'm going to draw the brow. So let's start back in the center here. I'm going to curve up and kind of flatten out as we go to the outside. Now from here, let's draw the inner part of the eye. So right on the right side of the center, come down with a little curve. And imagine this curve going on along the top edge of the eye. And right about here, I'm just going to pull this out, the top. Then you can go ahead and thicken this up if you'd like, just a little bit for the eyelash. And just above this line, I'm just going to draw a slight little line like that, just to show a double eyelid, like a little lip. Along this top row, I'm just going to draw a couple eyelashes, just curving up. And here, I'm just going to draw a little curve coming down the side of the eye. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And then let's draw the pupil. So up here, we're going to draw a big pupil tucked in underneath this brow. So starting up here, I'm going to draw a circle. It kind of disappears, so it's almost like a half circle. On the top right corner here, I'm going to draw a highlight. So a little oval. Now along this bottom edge, I'm just going to thicken this up. Make this probably twice as thick. And in the center here, I'm going to draw a little circle, a black circle behind that highlight. Go ahead and color that in black. And then right here on the left side, I'm just going to draw a little curve and color the upper part black, just for a little highlight. Okay, so we got that one eye. Let's move over to the left. We're going to draw the little frown line on the center here. So I'm going to take this eye and flip it over. So right about here, I'm draw a little curve going up. Now she's got some hair that kind of overlays on top of the side, so I'm not going to draw the full eye. I'm going to go probably about halfway. So here I'm going to draw the brow. So let's start with a curve that goes up. Now from here, I'm going to draw exactly what I did here. I'm going to draw a little line that comes down. Let's come back in a little bit to the left. Draw another line that comes down, the inner part of the eye. Now let's draw this a little bit longer here, just coming, coming out a bit. I'm going to draw the pupil. So let's draw a big curve that goes around. Now on the top right, we're going to draw the highlight. So a little oval. We're going to thicken up the outer ring of the eye, about twice as thick. I'm going to draw that circle in the middle and color that in black. And we'll draw a little line across and then color the upper part black. Now let's draw the bottoms of the eye. So here on the right side, I'm just going to draw a little line that goes across. On the left, I'll do the same thing, but I'll just give it a little bit of a curve. Just like that. Okay, now we can draw the hair bangs before we get into the rest of the face. So just above this eye, I'm just going to try to measure this out. So right about here, I'm going to put a dot. And that's our point of reference for the hairs, the, the separation for the hair. So from here, I'm going to come down towards right about here, in between the eyes, with a hair bang. So just a little smooth curve that comes down. I'm going to bring this up and taper it up. But I'm going to stop right about here. Now this bang, I'm going to draw just covering over this eye. So I'll go back up to the top. I'm just going to go across over that eye, just like that. And then from here, I'm just going to draw a curve that goes up. I'll come back down. So I'm going to do a little overlap and just come back down again. So now we can go ahead and finish that off in a bit. Let's draw the sides of the hair. So this, from this point, I'm going to draw a curve that comes around the face and just down to where I think the hair would end. So right about here. So I'll take this point, come down past the eye, and just curve down. We can do the same thing on this side. So this one is going to overlap on top of these bangs. Come down to my pinky. So around the same height, so right about here, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down like that. Now I can go in and finish off this hair, so I'll just finish off that end. Let's go ahead and draw the rest of the face. So the nose, it's not really that high up, but it's right about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line coming down, a short little line coming down, and I'm going to bend this line towards the right slightly. I'm going to make it thicker at the center point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little line down the middle, Take this point and draw a line right up to the top, and then connect this side in the middle to the bottom, just like that. On the right side of this shape, I'm just going to draw a little line like that for the other nostril. Now let's draw the mouth. So right about here, I'm going to draw a straight line. I'm going to give it a slight curve if you want to, just going up. And on either end, I'm just going to draw a little tiny smile line. Just little brackets on either end, just below this mouth and draw a straight line across. 
Let's go down here and draw the chin. So right here, she's got a little point in the chin. So that's our point of reference. I'm going to draw two angle lines coming out and then up along the side of the face. So from here, draw a straight line going out to the jaw. And on the right, or sorry, on the left side, I'm going to do the same thing. So it's not a very sharp chin. It's kind of almost leveled out. From here, I'm going to start to round out the cheeks. So going up with a curve on this side, I'll go up as well, just like that. Okay, now we can get into some detail around the hair. So if I want, right about here, because this hair is kind of pulled in this way, I can just pull out a couple lines of various length from this line. I'm going to change the direction a little bit because it's going above her hair, just like that. If I want, I can draw a line going down this way. Okay, so I'm not going to draw the rest of the hair just yet. Let's get into the neck first. So she's got this big sort of armored collar, but on the sides you can actually see the neck. So right about here, just below the jaw, I'm going to draw a curve going inwards on both sides. Now from here, there's the front part of the collar here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve going on one side, and a curve going on the other. I'm going to go up here and draw an angled line into that neck. This is for the upper shoulders. From these points, I'm going to draw two lines coming straight down, and these are going to converge to a center point. So I'm just going to come down a bit, put a point, and draw two lines going towards that center. And on the back here, I'm going to draw a curve for the back of the, the armored collar. So I'm going to leave a space, draw a curve going out. So you see a little gap there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, like so. Now I'm going to draw the trim around this collar. So up here, I'm just going to trace the outer contour of that line. Up and through. Come down on both sides. Now here in this middle, I'm just going to pull this line down. This will be our point of reference for connecting lines on the outside. Just like so. On the back here, where her hair is, you can just draw a couple lines coming down, going up and down, just to show that the hair is behind there. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the collar here. So from here, I'm just going to drop down a little bit and draw a point. From this point, I'm going to curve up along the side, on both sides, curving up. Come down a little bit, draw one more point, curve up, and then on the left side as well. Again, coming down one more time, draw a curve going up, and on the left side, final thing. Now from here, I probably want to start building the bottoms of the hair out. So starting here, at this point, I can just draw a curve going up like that. From here, I'm going to do an overlap and come down, curving in, and then going up. Do one final pass, so one more hair down this way. Now here, it's really hard to do one continuous line, a curvy line, so I'm going to try to break this up into pieces. So from here, I'm going to curve up like that. So it's kind of coming up and in. Now we can do a series of overlaps here if we wanted to. I'm going to leave that alone for now. Let's go to the right side and just draw the same thing. So curve like this, coming down. And it doesn't have to be equally the same. It could be a different sizes. So I'm going to show you, I just did this slightly different. So there's only one strand here. But I can always go in and draw a couple hairs, a couple extra lines inside if I wanted to, just to give it a little bit of texture. Now, the hair is going to start up here and it's going to come down. But this outer part gets tucked in behind the armor. So I'm going to have to draw the shoulders in next. So right about here, if the collar comes down, imagine that the tops of the shoulder, the armored shoulder, would come out this way. And then I'm going to draw this curve coming down. Curving down. I'll make sure that they're at the same length on either side. Now from here, I'm going to take this point and draw a line come straight down in an angle. And then this is going to go upwards, probably right about there. Let's do the same thing on this side. So coming down in an angle, and then going up. So I'll probably draw this one going up to about there. And then this could just kind of tuck underneath that hair. I'll just imagine that one in as well. Now from here, I'm just going to draw a curve going up and angle that right into that point there. This is just the finisher on the shoulder pads, kind of like that. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the hair. So the hair would probably be from here, start a point here. We curve around the face and then just tuck this in underneath that armor. So starting up here, just draw a nice smooth curve. Come down and just sort of 
going outwards on one side. On the right, I'll do the same thing. So coming around, and just kind of tucking in behind that armor there. If you want, again, you can just go up and just draw a couple lines with some hair texture. Just around like that. Probably draw one more here and here. Kind of like that. Okay, so we got the head, we got the hair. Let's finish off this armor. So for the arms, there's basically like three different layers to the shoulder armor. So from the right side here, I just want to come in a little bit and draw a little angled line. On the left here, I'll come in a bit and draw an angled line. And then from the middle, and draw a line coming down. Connect these three points with a straight line. And I'm going to do that again. So from here, I'm going to come in a little bit and draw a straight line. From the left, I'll come down. And then from the middle, I'll just come down. Again, connecting those three points. Straight line, and for our, for the arms, I'm just going to make it very simple. From this point, I'm just going to curve an arm down. Here, I'll curve the arm down. Across here, I'm going to draw the arm band that goes across like that. Let's do the same thing on this side. Come down a bit here, middle, and right about there. And then connecting those lines with a straight line, and again coming down on either side, in the middle. And draw a straight line. And then let's draw some arms. So coming in on the right, coming in on the left, we'll draw the armband across. Now there's a little bit of beveling on the shoulder pad. So from here, I'm just going to go up. I'm just going to curve this in towards the face. So the same thing on the left side here. We'll draw the emblem across the chest here. So basically, it's a line that goes across the chest. Right about there. We'll leave a little gap here. We'll go across the top. So across the top, behind that hair, across it, right about there. And we'll draw another line just below it, the bottom. Now from here, I'll move over a little bit and I'll draw a straight line down. I'm not going to finish the rest of the body, but I'll take this point, draw a straight line down. Now from here, it sort of curves out. Kind of like this. And I'll curve that back in and bring that straight down. From here I'm just going to pull that line out, come in and go straight up. This will probably come straight up somewhere here. Continue on behind that hair, curl and then come back in. From the center point I'm going to draw a line coming straight down past that and behind that little emblem. Uh, there's a little bit of detail here so I got like a little curve that goes like this. A curve that goes up. But that's pretty much it. There's Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like, share this with your friends, and check out our anime playlist. We have a ton of characters in there and more being added every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.